Eagle Mountain City is making their first steps toward a possible nuclear energy future. It is part of a long-term hope here to build a major energy corridor. But not everyone's excited about it. New specialist Mike Anderson explains why. Yeah, Mike, you know, the uh, city council here just approved a, a future annexation framework, kind of a, a map for where that future growth could take place. And energy is a, is a big concern there, especially as Eagle Mountain is poised to become a major hub for data centers with one for Meta already here. And those data centers with the advent of AI are in need of immense energy. Uh, the thinking here is that small modular nuclear reactors in combination with other pursuits for energy generation can support that framework for the billions of dollars of investment. And Tyler Moffitt, Maffitt, communications manager for Eagle Mountain, says the city would work in and making sure any possible small reactors would be placed, placed safely far enough from homes and communities. Many advances have been made with the small reactors to better contain radiation and avoid major incidents. Still, this is concerning to some homeowners who are not convinced. We saw Brigham City just announced as a reactor site. They're worried that it could happen for Eagle Mountain just as quickly. And I've lost several people I care about to cancer, several of whom were downwinders. So it's very personal to me. I just feel like if we want nuclear energy in Utah, let's put it far away from a city. I have grandchildren that I want them to have a nice area to grow up in, to enjoy, to play. But they, they won't have it if something happens. And the energy corridor would extend to the south there in what you see is Area 2. Granted, that would all happen gradually as landowners, you know, have to apply for annexation into the city. But, you know, the mayor of nearby Fairfield was also here, shared her concerns uh, for traffic as all this growth takes place. As they're already seeing some of that with a major solar farm under construction. Back to you. All right, Mike Anderson, live for us this evening. Mike, thank you.